Well, the UCF football team has brought Central Florida a lot of excitement over the past couple of years, but today we're kind of going old school. Oh yeah, next Monday there's a dinner event and radio program that will feature some members of the original 1979 football team. And we're lucky enough to have a couple of those guys here with us today. Original UCF Knights head football coach and Orlando sports legend Don Jonas and former running back Mike Stapp. And good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Glad to be here. Tell us about this big event coming up uh, and, and how people can get out and get involved. Well, this uh, actually this year will be the 40th anniversary wow. of the uh, first football team at UCF. So uh, Roger Williams and his old school program has been putting together a series. So with Jim Flanagan and Christner's, so what we're going to do is kind of have a uh, program Monday night at Christner's. Oh, Christner's. Uh, coach Heupel's going to join <laughs> us from uh, UCF, the current head football coach. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk a little bit about how things were back then and kind of how things are now. So you'll be able to see there's a tremendous amount of differences as to how things were done. Will yeah. there be a lot of memorabilia and films? And There'll be some memorabilia. Uh, we're actually going to have uh, four other former football players are going to be part of the radio show. And then there's going to be some other uh, former players that have already committed to being there. So it's going to be a kind of a, a nostalgic walk in time mm -hmm. back to the olden days and then talk a little bit about how things were in, uh, currently. And we've come a long way yeah. Yeah. compared to where we were. And, and Coach, what would you say about just like seeing how it was the first year and comparing it to how it is this year? I mean, what is it about UCF that people just love so much? Well, number, number one, uh, UCF started out, uh, you know, uh, FIFIT, you know, so on. They mm -hmm. started out, and then nobody knew anything about football, and uh, that was going to happen. But when Dr. Colburn came in, uh, he did make a statement that he would like to have a football team. So I happened to be with him a couple times, and so on and so forth, and I chatted with him, and I told him, I said, I would be interested in being the head football coach uh, at, at that time. Well, time went on, and uh, and I got the opportunity to be the head coach, and uh, it was a great story. And uh, and uh, we all knew. Uh, I mean, uh, we had 95 guys that come out. I mean, uh, we had a tremendous amount of talent because this whole Central Florida area, football talent-wise, in high school was fantastic. So we had the talent, mm -hmm. and a lot of these guys were all played in high school, and they and so therefore they were looking to get into it, and we got into it and uh, started and. Away we went, and now it's reality. Yes, yeah. it is. And you're an Orlando sports legend. Before you became the head coach, you played for the Orlando Panthers for three years. Tell us about that. The Orlando Panthers, oh, okay. <laughs> this goes back to semi-pro when I yeah. started Harrisburg, New Jersey. And, and, and after we played one year in New Jersey, they sold the team, so we moved down here in 19... Uh, uh, yeah, not, yeah, 1966. Okay. And uh, went to the stadium, and uh, uh, we came down, and it was just a great opportunity for us here. So we never knew. We, we started here. We played five years here, and uh, I was MVP three years in a row in the, in the league, and so it went on. And then we got a little greedy. The players did. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it happens. It's, it's very similar to what you're going to see right now in the football. That's that's here now. Okay, the, the Apollos, Apollos. Okay. very similar, but they made they made a heck of a lot more money than we did. <laughs> we, we we got seventy five dollars to play, and that wasn't much money. Is but that per uh, game? it's the same type of yeah yeah per game. It's the same type of uh, atmosphere. Looking looking for that opportunity to get another chance to go back up, and so I went from here to Canada, played five years in Canada, and then came back here and got a job with the city of Orlando, which helped nice. me get the job at UCF. It's yeah. amazing, full circle. And so again, what, where, what time is it? What's all the events kind uh, of in Okay, so Monday night at 5.30, there's okay. gonna be a social hour, and then there's gonna be dinner afterwards. And then we're gonna, uh, Roger's gonna actually have a radio show that we're gonna tape, and uh, so there'll be some opportunities to talk a little bit about that. And then uh, Coach Heupel will, will be there to talk really a little bit about where, where the program is, which, which is really interesting mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, when we traveled, Everything was by bus. We didn't even know what a plane looked like. <laughs> and we had four, four players to a room. We had two players per bed. Oh, wow. So, yeah, because it, it was kind of a string, uh, yeah. a string shoe budget. You know, we, I mean, we played one time in Virginia. We had to leave on Thursday morning to be able to get there for a Saturday game. So, uh, but just, you know, to, to see, and it was interesting back then, 
you know, we were, we'd, we'd be watching, you know, the Florida States and the Florida, and we say, boy, one day I hope we can get to that program. And, and now you look at the, the success we've had with the Fiesta Bowl and, you know, in the undefeated season. And, and what's really nice is each, each year UCF does a kind of a homecoming game, I think, for all the football teams that have been there. And the original class from 1979 always has the largest attendance oh, wow. of any group, mm -hmm. and it's usually at least double. And I think you look back, the players played the game for the love of the game. And, uh, and there's just a, a unique bond, I guess, whenever you're the first at anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, it's been fun. It's been a good ride. Awesome. We're so excited for yes. it. Yes. Thank you. Well, Sounds great like to great have event. you here. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yes, Thank you. Good to see you.